I find when I'm talking about comics is I, I often have to talk about, I feel I have to legitimise them to people, which is insane. It's absolutely insane. Comics are enormous all around the world. If you go to Japan, everybody reads manga. If you go to France, 17% of fiction is comics. It's only in places like Australia that it's kind of like, what, what's with, I'm assuming comics are just like tights, capes, Syria, killing generals, in Mogadishu. Um, but that's because you're learned now. I mentioned before that comics aren't for kids. Comics have been predominantly in America written for 18 to 45 year old white men. This fortunately is changing and it is swinging hugely and the big companies in America are finally discovering this as well. We now have 48% readership are women, which I think is pretty huge. It's good, yes, the people who like went and didn't clap, you should have gone with it. Anyway, they are also written, created, drawn far more by women, which is huge. They are written for women and they are written not just for women but for everybody. So that's the thing that I'd like everybody to take away, that comics actually are for everybody. There are people still who say, dismissively, I don't read comics. Now, to me, that's insane. It's like some attempt to be highbrow, but like the higher your brow goes, the smaller your mind gets. It's... <laughs> Thanks, I just thought of that then. Oh. It's far cleverer than I meant it to be. It is, to say you don't read comics, I hear that, and it's like you've just said, I don't read books, I don't watch movies, I don't eat food. Um, it's weird. Comics aren't a genre. I understand if you don't like romance novels. I understand, I don't understand, but I understand if you don't like fantasy novels. I understand if you're slightly prejudiced against something, but ignoring an entire storytelling medium is insane. Now, there are people very, very concerned about literature, about literacy levels in this country. Everybody here, I mean, most people here should know that one of the greatest ways to get children to read is through picture books, yes? Imagine if there were picture books aimed at adults. Imagine what that could do for literacy. Hey, guess what? There are. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming. Um, it's true, they are written for adults, they're written by adults for a very adult audience and they're engaging and they're exciting. And this is what I think people need to realise, it's that comics are very, very exciting, they are page turners, but they're not always. Not all comics are the same, there are terrible comics and there are great comics, just like there are terrible books and there are great books. There are fantastic authors, I'm sure most of you have heard of Neil Gaiman, yes? So, he has written wonderful, wonderful comics. That's how he started. He's written a series called The Sandman. I suggest you look it up. If you like horror, there are horror comics. If you like fantasy, there are fantasy comics. If you like romance, there are romance comics. There are comics for everyone. And more and more, I think you'll find that comics are completely and utterly owning pop culture. If you go to the movies at the moment, it will be to see sorry, <laughs> a comic book movie as a general thing. I don't entirely understand the reason, but at the moment, comics and superheroes and the stories being made in comics are desired by people. Possibly it's because we're disenfranchised with our governments and we want to see like superheroes taking over and just being nice. Um, yeah. But I won't look too far into that. <laughs> but it is, comics now dominate pop culture. And what people are seeing on the screens, there's books about that. If you go to see the Avengers, believe it or not, Joss Whedon has always also written X-Men. He wrote them for years. If you see a Kevin Smith movie, Kevin Smith writes it. Neil Gaiman has books out. He had a book out last week. He had a comic out last week. Who's seen Fight Club? You're not supposed to admit to that. <laughs> That's a trick question. No, Fight Club 2 came out as a comic this week by Chuck Palahniuk, I can't say his name, um, which is interesting because nobody should have been talking about Fight Club too. Um, so comics are huge and if there's anything I'd like all of you to take away from today, it's that 
First of all, if you've never read a comic, go and read them. And then push them on other people. Yeah? Don't, there's, we shouldn't have to justify their legitimacy. They are huge. They are widely read all around the world. And yet there is still a stigma here in Australia.